is Nabila with WP VR and today I'll show you how you can create a virtual tour of a real estate with the best features. So let's get started. To create a real estate virtual tour on WordPress, you'll need WP VR free and pro plugin installed and activated in your WordPress dashboard. I've already done that and I've also created a complete real estate virtual tour for you guys. So let's go there. Here's a complete virtual tour of a real estate. This virtual tour has three scenes, all right, but I'm not gonna show you everything right away. I'm gonna recreate this virtual tour and then I'm gonna show you the features one by one and how they work. Now let's move back and add a new tour. So when you click on add new tour, you get to add a tour title. Then you can add the scenes one by one. So let's add a scene. These are the scenes I've previously added. Let's select from them. Here's another scene. And here's another scene. All right, now let's preview it. And here's how the virtual tour looks right now. Now let's add some details in the virtual tour, all right? You can add details with hotspots. Hotspots are exact pointers that will let you add some details of a specific element that, ha that the virtual tour includes, all right? So you have to go to the hotspots tab and I'm gonna add a hotspot in this scene. So when I click here, you can see some coordinates have appeared named pitch and yaw. What you have to do is you can click here and the coordinates will be copied. So you have to give a hotspot ID, let's say bed, and then you can give a hotspot custom icon color and icon. Let's say bed. All right. Now you have to publish the tour. Let me show you in the front end how the hotspot looks. So here's how the hotspot looks. So this is the hotspot that's blinking because of the animation. And when you hover over it, content appears, which is bed. And I have added another hotspot, which is the painting. Now you can add many other type of hotspots, all right? Another one is scene type hotspot. For that, you have to go here and add a hotspot in the scene one. Now let's say I am going to add go. And here I'm adding the hotspot. Select the pitch. Then select the hotspot type as scene type and select a targeted scene from the list. Let's say I'm gonna select scene two. So you have to update the tour and once you update it, here's how the scene type hotspot looks. When you click on this, it takes you to another scene. All right, now let's move back and let me show you how another type of hotspot works, which is the contact form hotspot. Let me tell you first how adding a contact form will help you. Adding a contact form hotspot inside your virtual tour will let your clients book an appointment with you or maybe schedule an online meeting. So for that, you'll need to have the Fluent Forms plugin and the Fluent Forms add-on for WPVR Pro in your WordPress dashboard. I already have that and I'm gonna show you how it works. Now let's add a hotspot in scene three, all right? So when you go to scene three, here is how you add a hotspot. Let's say contact. I'm gonna add the hotspot here. Normally add all the details you want and then select the hotspot type as Fluent Forms. So when you click Fluent Forms, you can see two fields have appeared. From select your form field, you have to select a contact form and then you can add any on hover content you want. So let's update it. And once you update it, I'm gonna show you how it looks in the front end. Here's how it looks, all right? So here's the hotspot that I've added. And when you click on this, the contact form appears. Your clients will be able to fill all the fields and then send the form to you, all right? Now let's move back and I will show you some advanced features that WPVR offers so that you can create an engaging real estate virtual tour. Now let's move back to general tab. General tab has some advanced controls feature. 
there is scene gallery, tool background music, explainer video, company information, zoom preferences, gyroscope control, compass, and many other things. Now I'm gonna show you two of these and how you can use them. Let me first show you the scene gallery one. When you enable scene gallery, a gallery of the scenes that you've uploaded in your virtual tour appears in the front end. I'm gonna show you how it works. You can see an arrow is blinking here, all right? So when you click on this, the scenes that I've uploaded here will appear in this gallery. So when you click on a scene, it directly takes you to that scene. Okay, then let's move back and let me show you another one is, which is explainer video. So when you enable this an iframe field appears, you have to add the iframe field of the YouTube video that you want to embed into your virtual tour. So when you move back, you can see a share button. You click on embed and copy the iframe code. And then you move back and paste it. And then you can move on and enable this explainer video icon and you have to update the tour. Once you update it, when you update it, here's how the explainer video option works. So you can see this red icon is explainer video. So when you click on this, the video that I've embedded appears and your users can play the video and take the tour at the same time. All right. Okay. Now let's move back and let me show you the last feature, which is the floor plan feature. The floor plan feature will let you add floor plans into your virtual tour. Floor plans are basically a drawing of your property that will let your users see where the rooms are located and how they're connected. So when you enable this feature, you can upload an image to it. So when you click upload, this is a floor plan of the house and you just update it or maybe you can preview it. It's up to you, all right? So when you update the tour, you can see that the floor plan icon has appeared on the back end, all right? So when you click here, the floor plan appears. You can appoint each scene to each area of your floor plan, all right? So let me show you the bedroom first. So when you click on here, you can also drag around the pointers and you can select a pointer color. I'm selecting red and you can see that it's updated and I'm gonna point the first scene to this area. By default, the first scene is always selected. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna add another scene of the second bedroom, all right? So this is the second bedroom. I'm gonna appoint the second scene and I'm gonna add the living room scene here since it's the living room area. Now you have just have to update the tour and here's how the tour looks. You can see the floor plan icon is here. So when you click on here, it's showing the first bedroom. You can also see there's a navigation indicator that moves around as I move around the virtual tour. Now let's directly go to another scene. So here's how the floor plan works here's the living room all right you can also double click on the floor plan to see the floor plan in a full screen all right so that's about it this is how you create a complete virtual tour for your property listing website now go ahead and create a real estate virtual tour that will convert i'll see you in my next video